Hello and welcome. Today, I have three important updates to share with you. First, Minimax has released two major updates, the long-awaited image-to-video feature and new subscription plans. Meanwhile, Kling has improved its lip sync feature by adding text-to-speech capabilities. Now let's talk about the subscription plans. While they might seem limiting because you can no longer generate unlimited videos, they do offer a potential benefit. With a subscription, you can download your videos without a watermark. There's also a free three-day trial available, though it's unclear how long that offer will be available. Here's a breakdown of the plans. Currently, only monthly options are available, but yearly plans are coming soon. There's still a free tier, though it doesn't specify the exact number of daily credits. For the paid plans, the basic tier is priced at $14.99 per month, but there's a promotional offer bringing it down to $9.99, which includes 1,000 credits per month. The unlimited plan costs $94.99 per month and offers the same features as the basic plan, but with unlimited video generations. If you decide to purchase a subscription, you'll need to use either Google Pay or a credit card. However, there's also an option to buy credits without committing to a paid plan. Comparing this to Kling's offerings, unfortunately, Kling doesn't have an unlimited plan and its premium tier costs nearly the same as Minimax's unlimited option. On the other hand, Runway does offer an unlimited plan for $95 a month, similar to Minimax. Now that we've covered the new subscription plans, let's dive into the image to video tool. Before we get started, if you haven't already, check out this introductory video where I tested Minimax's text to video capabilities. It was very impressive. To upload an image, click the image icon in the prompt box or drag and drop it. You can either enter a prompt or leave it blank and there's an option to enable the Prompt Enhancer feature here. From my experience, using a prompt generally improves results, though that's not always the case. Also, I've noticed that video generation speeds can vary depending on the time of day. I'll start with this image I created in Mid-Journey, a woman in a stormtrooper outfit in a futuristic city, and use this prompt. It will cost 30 credits to generate, which seems to be the standard for any video. Keep in mind, the basic plan includes 1,000 credits per month, which allows you to generate about 33 videos at 30 credits each. The video is now in the queue, and on the free plan, you can queue up to three videos. There are about 6,600 people ahead of me. The result is quite impressive, but I think her face looks a little different from the image. And I especially like how the camera moves around and zooms out to reveal more of the background, including the flying vehicles. The walking animation is also smooth. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the original image and the video, with the prompt used to generate the video displayed underneath. Now let's compare this to a video I created in Kling using the same input image and prompt. I selected the new model in professional mode with default settings, which I use consistently for all the Kling videos in this comparison. Kling changed the style of the input image, shifting from a photorealistic look to something more like an illustration. Additionally, Kling's video has less animation, although it maintained the same facial appearance as the image. While the camera movement is nice, the woman only turns. In contrast, Minimax demonstrated better prompt relevance as it included flying cars and showed the woman walking toward the edge of the platform, which was part of the original prompt. This image features a werewolf menacingly walking down a busy street. The prompt requested a focus on the werewolf's fur and glowing eyes while capturing pedestrians, some in fear, others unaware. It was also supposed to end with a close-up of the werewolf's face staring into the camera before disappearing into the crowd. Overall, Minimax got most of it right, although there was some distortion in the background pedestrians. Now here's Kling's version. 
The pedestrians are moving, but there's little movement from the werewolf or camera. Like Minimax, Kling also had some distortion with the pedestrians. Neither video ended with the werewolf disappearing into the crowd, though I believe Minimax could have achieved this with a longer video. You'll also notice that Kling's video quality is sharper, as it outputs in 1080p HP at 30fps, while Minimax's quality is 720p HD at 25fps. Next, let's look at a video of a boy slowly walking down an abandoned alley. The prompt asked for a low-angle shot of his feet and an over-the-shoulder view. While the boy's movement is smooth, Minimax didn't capture the low-angle shot as requested. Kling's version was similar, also missing the foot shot. So, I adjusted the prompt to have the boy glance over his shoulder while walking. Minimax almost nailed this, even getting the low-angle shot of his feet, though there was some hallucination where part of the left building appeared to turn into a sheet or banner, and the boy's hands morphed. Kling didn't manage to capture the boy looking back, but it did get a shot of his feet. So far, I've been using highly detailed prompts that included specific instructions for both camera and character movements. From now on, I'll be experimenting with either no prompts or simpler ones. Next, I'll use this image of a young girl and boy dancing at a ball in a Pixar style, this time without a prompt. I'm impressed with Minimax's video. Their dance feels like something you'd see at a ball, and it even looks like they're talking and enjoying themselves, though there's a bit of morphing with their hands. Kling's version is also nice, with smooth camera movement and the couple turning toward the other guests. Here's a scene of a woman in a devastated city, falling to her knees in despair. The emotion on her face is portrayed very well, and she does fall on one knee, making it almost perfect. However, at the end, her arm and hand exhibit some odd movements. Kling's video also conveys a sense of desperation, but when she begins to fall to the ground, the animation becomes somewhat strange. I love autumn, and this image captures the season beautifully. Like the previous videos, Minimax did a great job, especially in maintaining consistency among the characters. It even took some creative liberties by depicting the couple as happy and smiling, whereas in the original image, they appear quite serious. One thing I didn't like was how the leaves were animated. They didn't look realistic to me. On the other hand, Kling preserved the serious expressions of the characters and opted for no falling leaves, which is preferable to unrealistic animation. However, did you notice the subtle flickering in Kling's video? I actually like that effect, though I'm not sure why it occurs. You'll see a similar effect in some of the later videos. This video of a woman sipping coffee at an outdoor cafe is fantastic. You can see the tree branches and her hair blowing in the wind. Kling's version has a darker tone and features that same flickering effect. While I appreciate Kling's animation and how she smiles at the end, it's not as good as Minimax because of the darker style, flickering, and weird mouth movement after she drinks. Remember this image of a boy riding his bike from this video? This video is great. It captures everything from the boy's expression to the movement of his legs pedaling. Kling's version is also good, but I feel the pedaling is a bit too slow. Now, here's the same boy riding a horse in the desert. I like both videos, but I prefer Kling's camera movement. Next, we see him running in the desert. Minimax has him running but going nowhere, while in Kling's version, he's actually moving. A stream was added, which I don't think can be inferred from the image, but I do like how the water flows. Here he is, dribbling a basketball. The movement is nice, but at times it looks like the ball is bouncing by itself. Kling struggled to maintain a consistent appearance for the ball, but its video quality is noticeably higher than Minimax's. I also think Minimax did a better job with the consistency of the hands. Minimax did well with this one, too, although there's some minor distortion in the boy's hand. On the other hand, 
Kling's video was less impressive due to significant distortion in the dog's face. I'm impressed with the movement of the dragon's wings and how it walks past the camera. However, I notice there's minimal movement in the smoke in the background. In contrast, Kling animated the smoke and fire, perhaps a bit too much. The dragon barely moves, and when it does, its head catches on fire. Let's explore the new Kling lip sync update. Here's a lip sync video I created earlier using an audio file from Eleven Labs. Hey guys, it's Sarah here. Just thought I'd take you along on my little walk today. You know, sometimes you just need to get out of the house, clear your head, and just walk. Let's create another one using the same video. This is the new interface, which includes the text-to-speech tab. You can enter the text for the audio in this box, and below is a list of voices you can choose from, which can be filtered. I'll use the same text I used for the previous video. Let's listen to some of these voices. Hey guys, it's Sarah here. Just thought I'd take you along on my little walk today. You know, sometimes you just need to get out of the house, clear your head, and just walk. Hey guys, it's Sarah here. Just thought I'd take you along on my little walk today. You know, sometimes you just need to get out of the house, clear your head, and just walk. After selecting a voice, the speech time displayed in the text area will update. Remember, the maximum audio length is 10 seconds. Otherwise, you'll need to crop it. Alternatively, you can adjust the speech rate until the duration is 10 seconds or less. Hey guys, it's Sarah here. Just thought I'd take you along on my little walk today. You know, sometimes you just need to get out of the house. Hey guys, it's Sarah here. Just thought I'd take you along on my little walk today. You know, some. Here's the result. Hey guys, it's Sarah here. Just thought I'd take you along on my little walk today. You know, sometimes you just need to get out of the house, clear your head, and just walk. In conclusion, all of these updates from Minimax and Kling are impressive. Minimax has really stepped up its game with the new image-to-video feature. Also, it was only a matter of time before the unlimited free generations came to an end. Let us know in the comments whether you think a paid plan is worth it. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to our channel for more content. Thank you for watching.